people thank you so much for stopping by my name is Cosmina and in today's video I decided to play a little bit with some things from Laurel in Los Angeles I recently bought a mystery box from her earlier this month and I am excited to try them on and see how they look like on my skin tone and everything and today I really want to make and create a beautiful beautiful orange eye look uh, I, I had this eye look in my mind for like the past two weeks and I need to actually create it and see how an orange look is gonna look on my eyes but I mean like like this type of orange, you know? So let's get with it. So I'm gonna um, go in both these, the party animal um, that is really beautiful. It has that orange that I really wanna play with, but I'm also gonna play in with some of the shades that she put in the single shades and I am gonna start with the shade that is called meow and I'm gonna apply this one all over my eyelid I have never tried her formula before um, I did try the beauty blender look at it how good it is I'm gonna insert a little bit of an image while I was trying it um, and I really do enjoy it I think it's a really nice one the only problem that I see I think it's a little bit too long for me for my under eyes I, I felt a little bit awkward while I was trying to put that um, on but it is pretty nice pretty nice I don't know what's wrong with my voice today but here we are all right, I I like the shade so far. I'm actually just gonna put it more into my crease and just a little bit of higher, but it's more it has more of a mauvey tone to it. So this eye look that I'm trying to create is going to be pretty bright and I have not worn an orange eye look like that but I've seen it on on a girl that had a very light skin tone and it looked just amazing I don't know how it's gonna look on me but hopefully it's gonna look as good um and then I'm gonna go with this color that is called summertime and I like because it has more like a like a brown orangey tone to it and I'm gonna put this one in my crease in a little bit of, on top of the other one the other shade that I uh, applied oh yeah that's crazy pigmented look at that the shades are very soft and nice they go on the eyelids really beautiful I don't see any uh, fallout so far so that's really good I don't seem to have to blend these too much so I like that as well all right and now it's time to go into this shade right here that is called drink drunks and see how this is going to be are you gonna be orange enough maybe I have to say I'm getting a little bit impressed with her formula because it looks absolutely beautiful and it blends really nicely and it has a really nice color payoff as well. And it's very very soft the formula. Not quite as bright as I wanted it but I'm gonna try to improve it with some other colors we'll see all right so I'm gonna go back in this one with the loose shade I think I'm just gonna grab this color right here this one I think it's called drunk flamingo and I like because it has more of a brighter look to it and it might look just perfect for what I have in mind I'm gonna get it hmm. 
Um, let me do my finger for it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm gonna take the brush that I used for that orange shade, the one from Party Animal, and I'm gonna try to blend it just a tiny bit more with Drunk Flamingo. I think that looks really good. It's closer to the what I have in mind, not necessarily exactly what I saw, but I think this is gonna be the closest I can get today. I'm gonna take the same orangey shade and apply it under my eye on the lower lash. And then I'm, I'm gonna pick up this summertime and add that one too. And then I'm gonna take the brown pencil from Charlotte Tilbury and add it in my waterline. I'm gonna quickly add a little bit of an eyeliner. I'm gonna go with this liquid eyeliner in black from Tarte Man Eater. And here's the eye look. I also added the two mascaras that I have in my shop, my stash right now. And here's how it looks like. What do you think? Do you like it? I really enjoy how this looks like. It's not as bright or as impactful as what, as what I had in my mind, but it is a really beautiful eye look and I do really like the formula in her eyeshadows. It is really beautiful, very, very soft formula but also what I really appreciate about it is the fact that it's very blendable um, and is very uh, pigmented as well so I really appreciate that I know everybody's excited to hear who won the giveaway I am currently running giveaways every month just so you know so even if you haven't won this month you might be able to win next month just make sure you watch my videos give it a thumbs up and you comment with the questions that I have in the description bar. Next one is going to be on the Beautylish website, which is going to be international giveaway. And I'm excited about it. I'm going to do a $40 on that website uh, in May. But it's going to start on 24th of April. And uh, make sure you watch the video on 24th of April. But let's find out who is the winner of the 50 dollars e-gift card giveaway that i've been running for the past two weeks are you guys ready to hear drum roll please so the winner is priscilla campus thank you so much for your support thank you so much for participating in this giveaway please don't forget priscilla to leave me an email address or a, a ig handler or whatever you feel comfortable with so i can contact you and give you the e-gift card thank you so much for supporting me and being here and liking and commenting you're awesome um, and um, I'm excited to go in the next uh, next month and see who's gonna be the winner then. Um, now let's go ahead and try this glazed lit kit highlighter palette and this one is for light to medium I believe. Um, this is how it looks inside. It is pretty crazy very very large sizes you know for this highlighter so i am gonna go with uh, which one should i go with let's go with diamonds i'm gonna try diamonds and see how that's gonna be i already have a little bit of of the highlight um high blush from 
Charlotte Tilbury underneath it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Okay, so I I see it. So as I was thinking, this might be emphasizing a little bit my pores and stuff like that. Um, and it does. It, it kind of does that. I'm not not a big fan of uh, things like that, but. Just gonna add a little bit more on this side. Yeah, it's not necessarily my cup of tea. I'm not a big highlighter person to begin with. So I knew these ones are not necessarily gonna work really uh, great for me. But for you, if you're really into things like this, it might work really nice. And also, if you don't have any texture to show, um, you might be luckier than I am with the, your skin, but it does emphasize a little bit my texture. So there you go. The last thing that I want to try from her is one of the lipsticks that I got. This one, it is in um, Cabana and is a matte liquid lipstick. And I really want to see how this is going to look on my lips. Okay, yeah, I think it is too light for me Yeah, look at that. It's it's literally looking almost the same color as My skin tone Yeah, that one mm, no <laughs> Okay, it's not I don't like the color on me. Uh, definitely not something that I would wear because it literally just delets my lips at all. At, <laughs> this is like a 2014 or 2012, 2014 era where everybody would wear something like this where it would just delete their uh, lip color. Um, and then I have this one that is in Nakey Nakey. And I think this one it might be even worse. But I'm just going to try to put it on top of this and see how it is. But the formula wise, it feels really soft on the lips. So it doesn't feel drying or it doesn't feel like, you know, you put paint on your lips. And it feels really nice. Okay. Yeah, this is even worse. Like, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, this is, whew, that is crazy. Uh, let me see if I put a lip, if I go with this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek in Pillow Talk, if it's gonna look a little bit better. Mm, no, it doesn't look better. But this is how it looks like. So out of all of them, I would say I prefer the eyeshadows. I do not like the highlighter um, because it's emphasizing my pores. Um, and I also do not like the colors of the lipsticks. I do like how it feels on the lips, but I do not like the colors. All right. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Um, congratulations, Priscilla, and good luck to all of you. I will be back on the 24th of April with a really special video, and you're going to have the details for the new giveaway in that description. I'll see you all next time. Bye.